Welcome back to Y Gaming. Today we're going to be checking out a game called Derelict. This looks really interesting. It looks like a sort of blend of the forest and Icarus with some really, really interesting base building aspects to it. And a lot of enemies too. Absolutely amazing. It looks like what Icarus should have been on launch. I'm very interested to see where this goes. At the moment we don't really have too much in the way of uh, official news. We do have a lot of little bits of gameplay that you can see in the background going off and loads and loads of screenshots. But release dates, anything like that, unfortunately, we have nothing yet. We do know that it will be online co-op, um, which, you know, that's always good. Uh, it is going to be multiplayer, but you can play it solo. It is also developed and published by Romaine. Now, check this out. This is their latest trailer. I love the building aspect. It looks like there's going to be a lot of detail and focus on the actual building of a home base. It's not just going to be something that you can do willy-nilly and, and, you know, there, there you go, you've built a little house. It's going to be something that you're going to need to focus a hell of a lot on. And the enemies look really cool too. Judging by a lot of the stuff that we see, I forgot, yep, there's a doggo, which, oh yeah, oh hell yeah. So this is where I get the sort of forest vibes from as well. The crafting looks so detailed, which I love. Obviously, as you can see there, there was a little bit of something going on. We're, we'll get to that a little bit later. I do think there's going to be some form of story to this. I love the eating and drinking animations too. They look really smart. There is a reason behind all the ships and the tech as well, but I will go into that once we've uh, we've got through this bit. I love that. Massive aliens. So there's going to be boss fights and all sorts, which, amazing. Especially for a survival game. Whether all this stuff's going to be here at launch, I don't know. But if it is, we're going to have a shite ton of content from the get-go. Look at that. It's nuts. There's just so much going on. So that was the latest trailer. In the background, there is another trailer going, which is just a shorter, I think, condensed version. I'm th pretty sure that was their original trailer, but this one was released not too long ago. Very interesting. Now, it is available to wishlist at the moment. Like I say, we don't have any release date, which is obviously a shame, uh, but it seems like the main starter story is we crash a space shuttle um, on Earth and you have to start from scratch. You have to rebuild yourself and build a, a little home and everything that you'd need to actually survive on land. But we have to defend it against mutated animals and humans and find the origin of a defense mechanism that triggered a wave of radiation on Earth, forcing most of the privileged part of mankind to go up and live on space stations. Interesting, right? I like that. It sounds cool. So that's what gets me on the sort of Icarus aspect of it, you know, that you go up because the, the Earth is dying and then obviously they on Icarus they go away because the Earth is dying to try and find some resources. Uh, but very, very cool. I like that idea and I love the idea of the mutants as well. It does seem like, I'll show you in, in a second, but there, it looks like there's going to be sort of base raiding too. So these mutants will come at you, whether that's going to be a timed event or not is yet to be seen. 
but I like. I like it a lot. So some of the key features are going to include, obviously, a base building, a lot of resource gathering, and defending ourselves from the mutated wildlife, and what looks to be some form of alien, potentially. We're going to be able to use all of the natural elements, so the wind, the sun, and water, to generate electricity and other things that we need to actually power the base and get machines up and running. There will be an very, very enhanced weather cycle, so that's going to be quite cool. It's going to come into things like freezing the rivers, so then any of your water-based plants don't work. Um, giant electrical storms that could short out your stuff. And nighting, and obviously that affects solar panels, which I like that. I think that's going to be really quite cool. We'll also be able to build water tunnel systems, which you've already seen in the trailers, which will be able to transport things from various areas around the map. Obviously, you will need to pump those, uh, get some water pumping through those tunnels, which then obviously leads to building a way to actually power those pumps. So there's going to be a lot of detail in the building works, I think. It definitely looks that way, which I really, really like. Now, exploring and upgrading and building new tools, obviously it's a survival game, it's going to be an absolutely detrimental feature that has to be there and it has to be good. So I'm excited for that. It does look like they've got some pretty cool tools and weapons. I mean, there is a giant circular saw launcher. I mean, just wow right how cool is that and then alongside that obviously we've seen him already and that is the doggo we have to find mr doggo which i mean i'm all for that man i'm all for that oh hell yeah now there's also a whole bunch of screenshots on their steam as well which look very very cool um obviously this is uh, it looks like they've just built the one base but it looks like the actual tunnel goes quite a far away that way and then it branches off here which is nice We'll be able to build separate branches into these things which is cool and then here we have some of the mutants and i don't know if i do think we can there was a little glimpse of it but i think we're going to be able to fly a ship and then look at the different types of enemies as well here's the circular saw launcher i was on about it just looks like the predator's face is, is on a human body it's weird um but looks very 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 pretty i'm actually quite interested to see where this goes um, I'd love to see any sort of date, but nothing yet. I will be keeping an eye on the development cycle, see what they're doing, and what's actually going on throughout the, the life cycle. Hopefully, we get a little bit more news. The last bit of news was towards the end of October, I think it was. Uh, that was for a little Halloween thing, just showing off nighttime, which I thought was really quite cool. And then this was posted on Monday, the 31st of October. This is just showing off the nighttime. And then I think that looks like a giant creature there, which very, very freaky. But I like the look of night as well. It looks quite terrifying. They're also very active on Twitter. So I'm going to post all of their social links in the description down below if you do want to check that out. Now, Derelict looked very, very interesting. I hope that they can keep up everything that they've been doing. So far, they do seem to be posting very regularly. I don't know if it's a one-man dev or not. Um, by the writing in some of the dev letters, it does seem that way, but I'm not 100% sure. And I just like the look of it. It's something that's... It's got a little bit more detail than some of the uh, random survival games that we do see, which is interesting. Especially considering a lot of survival games will just dump a base content in there and then they'll add stuff like way later down the line. So seeing if it does release with the things that they've shown, it looks like there'll be a lot of content straight out the gate, which is absolutely awesome. Can't wait for that. So that is what we know so far about Derelicts. I am going to keep an eye on the uh, on the dev cycle here. If we do find anything else out, I will let you guys know. And I'm going to uh, have a little bit of a deeper dive and see what else we can find. If we can find a load more awesome stuff then uh, we'll probably have another video out pretty damn soon. If you have enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. We cover all sorts of survival games here. And for now, I've been Wyatt. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.